Yes, he wants to feel as a demon slayer. He can't do it. He can't risk another demon killing another family just like Don't his. Don't grovel like that and give your enemies the chance to kill you! How can a weakling like you have any hope of finding a way to heal his sister? Damn. Shit. Now maybe the demons know of a way to cure your sister. But don't think for even a moment that any one of them is... So there might be a way. Wishes. There might be a way to actually turn her back into a human. Why didn't you swing that hatchet? And why would you ever turn your back to me? Those mistakes are what led to her capture! Hmm. I wonder why he chose not to then. Don't succumb to sorrow. This isn't the time to despair. Deep down he actually cares for this guy. For Tanjiro. Mm-hmm. Your family massacred. Your sister a demon. I know you want to scream. Who wouldn't? Who wouldn't want to scream, right? If only I'd gotten here half a day sooner. Maybe then your family would still be alive. Oh, he feels responsible. He feels responsible for not being here on time, because that's his job. Slay demons. Feel the pure rage of being unable to forgive. Let it be what gives you the strength to take action. He's probably been through something similar. Probably lost family as well like that. No! Ooh. Don't you touch her! Alright, come on Tanjiro. This is where he gets uh, motivation. That motivation that he needed. You let your emotion drive you to charge at me. You are a fool! Oh, shit. Yeah, he was mad. Can't blame him. He was mad. When you uh, have that much pent up rage, anger, sadness, everything he's been feeling, just bring up. To the hatchet. You don't think. Oh! Okay, never mind. I was just about to say, you don't think clearly, but. <laughs> he had that planned. <laughs> okay. He threw the rock, and at the same time. He tossed the hatchet. Threw the rock to, yeah, to blind them to the hatchet throw. So I wouldn't realize he was unarmed. No. Made it look like if he had the hatchet still. Jeez. His whole plan was to bring me down after I'd knocked him out. Mm-hmm. He actually is a lot smarter than he seems, right? That's comes to show- oh, god damn. damn <laughs> Let's guard down. She'll kill him! And he's gonna notice, wait a second. He thought she was about to devour him. Do it. She'd never eat a human. Long ago. She's really fighting uh, that demon thing. side of hers. Only to end up being devoured. A starving demon will eat anyone. Yeah, he was like a, like a zombie, exactly like a zombie. I've seen they don't, they don't think rationally anymore. You can even say they're not there no more, right? The human that was there is no longer there. Using up a lot of energy to heal herself. So there's no question, she's starving right now. And what's she gonna eat, right? She was about to- She protected him. She was about to eat him. Turned her attention right, to right me. Right before he showed up. Or at least, uh, attack him. I wonder if... Just maybe... These two are different. Yeah, you see? They might be the ones to actually... And he decides to not kill her. He could've, he could've just sliced her head off right there. He decides to just knock her out. Because he figures maybe, just maybe, like he said, these siblings are the ones to figure out a way to turn demons back into humans. Instead of having to kill them, bring them back. I'm so sorry. Or allows it some type of hybrid where they don't lo no longer have to feed off humans. Kind of like vampires, too. It's like a mix of zombies and vampires. It might be close to vampires, I think. Because vampires also get a really insatiable awake? thirst and hunger. Get to Mount Sagiri as soon as possible. Look for an old man named Sukonji or Okodaki. Sukonji. When you find him, tell him Giyu Tomioka sent you. Tomioka. Giyu Tomioka. But never let her be exposed to sunlight. I don't know why he said to not let her be exposed to sunlight, though. What is it about the sunlight? Oh, like a vampire. Like a vampire burns them. Burns them, yeah, 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 yeah. It is closer to the vampire. Si es más cerca a un vampiro. Más que nada, que más más cerca a un vampiro. Estaba diciendo zombies, pero no. Lo más que estoy viendo es más más cerca a un vampiro. También no puede estar en el en el, en el uh, la luz del sol porque los quema, creo. 
lo que acabo de decir ahorita, esta está mioca, guillo, y también les da un chingo de hambre, donde no lo pueden parar, y por eso es donde uh, comen de los humanos. Alright, not bad. That was a pretty good first episode, in my opinion, guys. Four arc one episode number one called Cruelty. And real quick, if you guys happen to enjoy the reaction, right? Don't forget to hit the like button if you haven't done so already to show the videos some extra love. If you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe along with enabling notifications so we can be notified of every time that we upload another video, which will be for the continuation of at least Arc 1 Buff Demon Slayer, and then depending on how you guys enjoy it, how the feedback that we get, uh, the performance that it, that it does on the channel, then we'll do Arc 2, and then Arc 3, I think there's up to 3 or 4 arcs, at least 3 that I saw over here on Netflix, so, which is why I'm watching it, so we'll be able to watch quite a bit, and I like that they're about 20-25 minutes long, the episodes, like it's just just enough. Not too short, not too long. I like it. As much as I like reacting to full length episodes that are like 45 minutes to an hour sometimes, they could be quite a bit at times. So it is nice to have the mix and match. And I think I'll keep on doing it this way. I'll do one series like how we finished Echo and then alongside it we'll do Demon Slayer or an anime. Which is this one for now. And we'll throw in a movie every once in a while as well. So that seems to be the current schedule that we'll have. But real quick, little recap. We found out uh, who the protagonist is. Obviously, like I told you guys, I already saw four episodes, so I kind of have an inkling, an idea of what happens and what happened. But it was good to rewatch it, even for me, and probably even for some of you who have already seen it. We know who the protagonist is, Tanjiro, right? His, his uh, younger sister is Nesuko. He had an entire family that was slaughtered, right? And Nesuko survived, having trying to protect her son, I believe. I think it was her son. It looked like it was her son, or maybe it wasn't. Maybe it was her brother. I didn't really catch that. <laughs> but she had like a little kid with her that she was trying to protect. So she died, uh, well, not died. She turned into a demon and fell unconscious when uh, Tanjiro came across her, trying to protect that kid. And she turns her to a demon from it. Then we meet Giyu, Tamioka, Tamioka. I'm had to practice the, the the names to say them right. I like showing respect to other languages and other cultures' uh, names, and I try to at least try to pronounce them as best as I can. So I apologize ahead of time if I fall short on that, but I will continue to practice. Basically. Uh, Giyu, I'll just call him Giyu. He's the first demon slayer that we met. He ends up obviously trying to do his job. Trying to slay Nesuko, Tanjiro's sister. But Tanjiro gets in the way. Manages to protect her. And since they already had that bond, uh, really strong sibling bond, it caused her to also end up protecting him, which truly surprised Giyu. He was like, oh, he's like, these siblings might actually be different, because he hadn't heard about a story of other, maybe another group of siblings who had uh, had a similar case where their bond helped them not to come to the to the effects of the the one that turned into a demon, the wanting to eat humans, <laughs> to be more specific, that effect, which is not fun at all, right, once to be eaten. Basically, they didn't succumb to that, so that allowed uh, people to have hope in that time. I don't know when it happened or who it happened to, but based on the story that Giyu said in his own uh, monologue, inner monologue, in his mind, when he was thinking, he made us, at least me, think that, yeah, at the time people had hope when they heard that. But then it ended up, and it ended up, it ended in the same unfortunate situation where the one who had turned into a demon, they ended up succumbing to that disease. Let's just call it that, a virus disease, whatever you want to call it. A demon disease. Demon virus. 
they ended up succumbing to it and killed their entire family. So that's why Gia was uh, hesitant. But once he saw Nesuko actually go in front of her big brother, Tanjiro, and protect him, he realized, okay, maybe, maybe, just maybe, they might actually be the ones who will help us figure out how to turn a demon back to a human without having to chop, 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 chop that head. <laughs> Which I don't blame them in shit if you have no other choice, right? What, what can you do? What can you do? It's like a zombie. You gotta fucking go right through the brain, right? This is a typical zombie lore. So that allowed Giyu to have hope that, you know what? These guys could probably do it. And it's good because this allows us to see what happens now in the further, uh, in the rest of the arc and the other arcs that are to come. Maybe she'll turn back into a human at the end of the arc. I didn't finish the arc, so that's what I'm saying, maybe, maybe, or maybe she'll continue being a demon for the rest of the arcs, the other arcs that are remaining, who knows, we'll see, we'll see what happens, what I do know, I, at least I think, is that Tanjiro will remain human, I think that's how they'll balance it, he'll remain human throughout the series, throughout the anime, all the arcs, and maybe she'll continue being demon, and then they'll keep a balance like that, right, or she helps strengthen his human side, right, with all her uh, extra abilities that she gains as a, as a demon. Strength, uh, speed, size, right, she fucking grew like a big bodybuilder. And she could help him out in that regard, while he could help her in the regard of keeping her human uh, nature as much as she can. Whatever human nature or specks of human of humanity remain uh, within her. He could continue helping her keep that, so that way she could keep on having that demon side of her tamed to the point where she doesn't actually need to feast on humans. Because that's the last thing. <laughs> that's the last thing anybody needs, especially Tanjiro. But yeah, I, I like this series. That's the reason why I wanted to react to it. I like the way it starts, it's intriguing enough, it gets you right away hooked where you're like, alright, like you know what, I like that, the whole relationship between the siblings, that's what I like the most, kind of reminded me of Supernatural, Supernatural, I like the silly angle, the Winchester brothers, you know, their, their unbreakable bond, the way they would always help one another in ghost hunting, monster hunting, whatever they were hunting, right, family business, I love that about that series, and this has that going for them too. Or it's the sibling bond that's unbreakable and so deep that it helps them keep a freaking demon virus or disease, whatever you want to call it, epic. But yeah, that's a quick little recap of first episode of this first arc of Demon Slayer. And as usual, if you happen to enjoy it, don't forget to hit the like button like I was saying. Subscribe and then leave me your recommendations down below in the comment section so that we could see what you thought of not only this reaction but also any other series, anime, movies you may be interested in watching me react to. I'll take it like one arc, one season at a time for every series or anime that we choose to react to. So that way, like I said, we'll see based on performance if we want to keep on doing that one or if we do another one. Especially if I start getting more recommendations uh, from all of you watching. Because there will be more, for sure. We've got to make time for at least a few more. <laughs> Alright, well, anyways, I'll catch you guys next time. Y rapidito en español. Si les gustó esta reacción, no se les olvide dejarle un like al video. Y si son nuevos al canal, no se los olvide tampoco suscribirse y activen notificaciones para que sí sean notificados de cuando subamos o subimos un video nuevo que va a ser para la siguiente los siguientes episodios de este primer arc de la anime de Demon Slayer y también ya están por lo menos los primeros episodios de la serie de Echo yo sé que a unos tal vez no les gustó tanto hacer lo que he estado viendo ahora ya que terminé de grabar y reaccionar a esa serie pero Yo todavía estoy de acuerdo en lo que dije. Es como una 7, una 7, 7.5. 7.3, 7.5, en mi opinión, es serie. No está tan mal. Pero a una gente sí no le gustó para nada. Pero hablando de esta, si, tienen, uh, si les gustó 
dejen en los comentarios abajo lo que pensaron de esta reacción para este primer episodio de esta serie de Demon Slayer. Y también si tienen sugerencias para otras series, anime, películas, lo que sea. Lo que voy a estar haciendo es que voy a reaccionar por lo menos a la primera temporada o arc, si es un anime, de una serie o anime. Y después de eso veremos cómo uh, hacen, hacen vistas, en comentarios, en likes y todo eso. Uh, la serie, o la primera temporada de la serie en total. Y después ya veremos si hacemos la reacción a la siguiente temporada. Org. Si entienden eso, yo creo que será mucho mejor hacerlo así. Pero hasta luego. Los veré para el episodio número 2 de Demon Slayer. And as usual, I'll see you guys for the next episode, episode number 2 from this first arc of Demon Slayer. Thank you guys for having taken time to watch this reaction. We were bilingo reactions. Fuimos reacciones bilingües. <laughs>